Hi guys, uh, I wanted to show you a few tips on uh, how I store, how I pump and store my breast milk. Uh, this is Mom Cozy breast pump. It comes in two, eh? that's one part and uh, this is the other part. So when I'm pumping, I put on both of them. So that at least I can be able to take a shorter time. So with this pump, uh, you can do your work as you continue to pump. You just wear and you and you pump. So you need to fit it well, so that at least you don't feel any pain while you are breastfeeding. I don't want to turn it upside down because I just emptied uh, milk that I had pumped from inside. And um, just wanted to show you how it is. So uh, it is fitted here on this side. Just to show you how the other one looks like, the other part, how it looks like. So this is the part that uh, you fix. Onto. So this part is the one that you fix the motor. Let me call it a motor, this one here. All right, so I've just pumped and I'm going to show you how I store my breast milk. So I use breast uh, milk bags, which I'm going to show you. So here with me, I have uh, the bags. So these are storage bags. Sorry, these are breast milk storage bags. You can store up to 180 ml. And they are sterilized so they are safe to use and they are BPA free so once you put your milk inside uh, I'll show you right away how you are going to store the milk apart from these uh, bags I also have some containers that I use to store my breast milk so these containers uh, is what I use sometimes if I don't want to freeze the milk you can put the date you can put the time and uh, you can even write the name of the baby if you have twins yeah so this is what I use and the lid uh, fits so well so here is the lid you just fit it on and you're able to store your milk safely so that uh, the baby can drink it later if you're away and you've gone away to work or something so come on, I will show you. Hi guys, so that is what I was able to collect today from my pumping session. So you can see that this is a one eighty ml. I got this from one. I got this from one side, and then I also have this. I think this should be ninety. 90 ml 90 ml from the other side or 60 so 180 ml plus if that's in one pumping session i got 240 around there or 200 let me not exaggerate so but uh, you can see there is a cash cow the other one is not really doing very well So today in this video I want to show you how much uh, I expressed uh, in a pumping session from both sides and I want to show you also how I package the breast milk for the baby. So I hope you learn something. You can also tell me how you do it for your baby for those who are returning to work. So this is 60 ml. I put them in small portions because I don't want to waste from any feeding session. So this is 60. I'm going to put another 60 here. So let me add some. another 60 and 
another 60 ml. We'll go straight and cover it. And some of it, I have to uh, put them in the milk storage bags for freezing. So I have this, this is what I have currently. It's a BPA free. I think they're almost done. I'll just need to buy some more. So this is 30 ml. So I make sure I sanitize so that I don't contaminate the milk. Just hold it like this. And I add some more. Is another 30 ml. So I'm going to remove all the air before I seal this in the bag for freezing, for immediate freezing. So once I'm done, I seal, I make sure that I seal properly and put it aside. And if I have some more to store, I also do the same procedure. This is another 60, 60 ml, which I'm going to seal for freezing. So as you can see, we have uh, 60 ml. These are for freezing. And this one I will recommend for immediate use because I'm stepping out shortly. So this is um, 60 ml times 4. So in this pumping session, I got um, 240 ml as you can see from the milk storage bags and from these bottles how much are you able to pump in one session for your baby so this is how you package milk you freeze the milk flat. So for me, I did that and uh, that's the result. So I have them with the dates as required so that I can take first in, first out. Okay, guys. So you can have um, enough stock of milk and you can stack it this way if you want it to be in the you want it to be in the deep freeze you can stack it this way so that it's very easy to take it out so once it's frozen this is how it looks like the milk once it is frozen this is how it looks like and it's very safe for the baby to take it's very very safe for the baby to take so that's my stash of breast milk